The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Rev that throttle, pull a wheelie, and burn across the dirt track. Because in 1985, Kickstart came back with a vengeance. And this enhanced version of the classic motorcycling simulation boasted 24 new courses, improved graphics, tweaked gameplay, a couple of new hazards, and a course designer. Late in the 1970s, BBC Television started showing a series about motorcycle trials called Kickstart, which was later followed by its spin-off, Junior Kickstart. This programme greatly inspired a young programmer by the name of Sean Southern. A young programmer who was inspired to create a game that would channel all of that adrenaline into pixels. Thus, in 1985, Kickstart was born. It even has the same theme tune as the original series. Kickstart 2, as much as its predecessor, is a 2D side-viewed racing game where you ride a trials bike either against a computer opponent, against time, or against another human player. The game is basically about getting as fast as possible from point A to point B on your trials bike, and naturally, various different kinds of obstacles will make your journey more difficult. The game's premise is simple. One or two players take control of a motorcycle, and must race to the end of a torturous course. These courses aren't your normal type of stunt track. Along with the typical holes in the ground, water and mud traps, and various jumps, these tracks also include picnic tables, huge walls and hills, and, oddly enough, full-size ski jumps. Nothing says, I value our friendship, like the memories of watching my brother crash spectacularly while I zoom past. <coughs> Good fun this game. You need to keep a close eye on your speedometer and what kind of surfaces you will be riding on and decide whether or not you are able to jump over anything successfully. Most of the time you can go full speed ahead, but certain kinds of surfaces require you to drop your speed in order to keep yourself balanced. There are a few basic tricks which enable you to go through certain types of obstacles more easily, such as wheeling your way up steps and jumping over muddy surfaces. But if you have yet to play Kickstart 2, then you'll have some fun figuring it all out for yourself. But here's a few fundamentals to get you started. When the starting gun sounds, pushing right accelerates the bike, causing the landscape to scroll from right to left. The bike zooms over the landscape, obeying the rudimentary laws of physics while trundling along. Depending on which way you push the joystick or press the fire button makes the bike decelerate, wheelie and jump, or even bunny hop. Depends how technical you want to be. All of these movements have to be used if a course is to be completed without crashing the bike. If you do crash the bike, the game isn't over. The scenery just scrolls slowly, thus costing time until there is a safe enough position for the bike to be put back on the course. When you get bored of riding the preset courses, the editor can be accessed from the title screen to create new routes. When a course or series of courses have been created or modified, they can be raced over, and I remember having a lot of them saved to take for later use. Many were horrifically difficult courses, used to challenge my friends on. If you've got little patience and are easily annoyed, then Kickstart 2 could drive you hopping mad. If you're like me and love the Kickstart series, however, you'll love every minute of it. Controlling the bike is frustratingly hard to master, but the game's great addictiveness keeps you playing. This gem has surprisingly stood the test of time, especially in two-player mode, where the competitive spirit can turn friendly banter into full-blown rivalries. The computer opponent isn't too shabby either, though you might catch on to its cheeky catch-up mechanic that was obviously programmed into the game. Back in the day, it was a steal at just £1.99, proving that sometimes less really is more. In an age of flashy graphics and epic soundtracks, Kickstart 2 reminds us that pure, unadulterated fun is what truly counts. So buckle up, grab your joystick, and get ready to kickstart your adventure. Oh God. Just remember, it's not just about finishing first, it's about how gloriously you can crash along the way. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and let me know your experiences playing Kickstart 2 in the comments section. Did you ever build any spectacular courses? 
I'd be interested to know. Also, check out the other games on the channel playlist for your favourite Commodore 64 titles. But, if they're not listed yet, you can be certain they will be someday. Hit subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos, and with that, hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye for now. What a disaster for him, what a shame. 40 to add. So, is he going to stay in the lead? This last obstacle not been cleaned yet. Well, he's high enough. He's off the side.